This equation seems so hard that most of students didn't even try to solve it, and it was their mistake. Because all they had to do is pay attention on coefficients 89 and 144. Do they remind you of anything? Of course, experts know that these two numbers are Fibonacci numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and 144. It's a set of numbers in which each concessive number is equal to the sum of the two previous ones. Like 8 equals to 5 plus 3, 21 equals to 13 plus 8, 89 equals to 55 plus 34. And I think it's not accidental that last two numbers have been added to our equation. Maybe it's a hint. By the way, what do we know about Fibonacci numbers? We know that every Fibonacci number can be written using the Binet formula. It looks like f n equals to 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus square root 5 divided by 2 to the power of n and it's all divided by square root 5. Fn is a n Fibonacci number. It's great, but how can it all help us? Guys, we try to draw a logical association. Numbers 1 plus square root 5 and 1 minus square root 5 are the roots of equation x squared minus x minus 1 and it equals to zero. Mm-hmm. And I suppose that this quadratic equation may be related to the original one, right? Sure. Look, let's express x squared from this equation. Then we have x squared equals to x plus one. But in that case, what x to the power of three is equals to, of course, it equals to x times x plus 1 or x squared plus x. But x squared is equals to x plus 1. So x to the power of 3 is equals to 2 times x plus 1. Using these logics, x to the power of 4 is equals to 2 times x squared plus x or x squared equals to x plus 1, 2 times x plus 1 plus x, it equals to 3 times x plus 2. And our logic here is simple. We take next each expression times x. In that way, you can check it up that x to the power of 12 is equals to 144 x plus 89 and x to the power of 11 is equals to 89x plus 55. Now we see, guys, that if we put these two equations into original one, we're gonna have 89 times 144x plus 89 minus 144 times 89x plus 55, and it equals to 1. The coefficients on the x are 0 because these two members are deleting and all we have is 89 squared minus 144 times 55 and it equals to 1. But is that true? Let's check it up. 89 squared equals to 7921 minus 144 times 55 equals to 7900 and 20 and of course it equals to 1. Yes, we see that this equation is working. So what we've only just learned, we understood that axes that satisfies quadratic equation are also satisfies our original one. So roots of our original equation are x equals to 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. Here is the answer. But guys, one question remains and this question is on everyone's mind. Are there any other roots here? 
Apparently not. Because if we take a derivative of function in the left side of our equation, we're gonna have 89 times 12 times x to the power 11 minus 144 times 11 times x to the power of 10. And it equals to x to the power of 10 times 89 times 12x minus 144 times 11. We see the derivative changes sign only once. And our function in the left side of original equation looks like this. It's only one extremum point. And if we have in the left side this function and on the right side we have a constant and maximum we have two connection points or two decisions and our equation cannot have more than two roots and we have already found them so guys our problem is solved i hope you enjoyed looking this video dudes and i really want to see you in the next one